Good morning. I am in a rush, believe it or not, <coughs> to get to my house because I, you're not going, this is the part you won't believe, I'm going on a run. I am determined to start 75 hard, but I feel like I'm going to have to do the soft version, but I just don't want to give in like that. But anyways, regardless, today we're going on a 45 minute run, okay? That's where we're at right now. This is the outfit what I'm going to wear to go running. That literally isn't even a running top, but I'm going to wear my new jacket, what I showed you yesterday. So I thought it doesn't really matter anyways. So I've not been running in so long. So the fact that my Christmas socks are still in the wrapper is crazy. And obviously I've got my new jacket to go with as well. But I don't know how I feel about this because I thought I was going to run for 45 minutes. I'm already looking at the time thinking, oh, I don't want to do it. When I was on my health grind, like, many moons ago, like, literally, like, when I was, like, 16, this is what I used to have for my breakfast. Chocolate shreddies and a banana, because, like, the chocolate shreddies just make up for the banana, because I'm not overly keen on the taste of it. Also, that is my dad's tape measure, because I need to measure the size of my bed. Do you know what's really funny? And I don't mean this in a mean way. And ignore the monster on my chin. I really don't mean this in a mean way. Let me just express that enough. But my family... Oh no, I've just realised you're probably connected to my iPod. My family just think that they are the YouTubers because they just tell me ideas all the time. And they say like, do this, do that, you should do this for a vlog. And I'm like, you guys aren't really on the street that I'm on. Like, it's lovely that they give me ideas because sometimes, don't get me wrong, they are good. I'm always up for ideas. But just because it's my family, maybe I just look at it a bit differently. So I am just coming in to clarify something there. When I say they give me ideas, it's not like the same as you guys coming in a video idea. Like, they force it down my throat and, like, to the point they get agitated with me if I don't take their idea. And sometimes the ideas are really good and I love that they've reminded me of them. Other times, there's a reason I didn't listen the first time. And I'm trying to think of an example. Oh, I can't bait one of my parents out like that, but... Like, they'll give me ideas and some of them are particularly smelly. And I am too polite to tell them that they are smelly. So I will say, oh, maybe, yeah. Not right now, maybe, yeah. Maybe in, in a couple of weeks' time. So I am just about to have a bath, but let me show you what I've just set up. Here's what I set up last night. I might just flip this over just in case that video is not out yet. I kind of set myself up like a desk. Um, My work password is on the top of that, so I'll just ignore that. But, like, this is my new little desk. Um, yeah, got my iPad and stuff. This is hopefully to motivate me to do, like, look into videos a bit more, kind of see what the trends are. Because at the minute, I am so bad for just, like, spending hours on TikTok, etc. things like that. So that is hopefully to get me to stop doing that. My plan was actually to film another video once i'd got out of the bath but i was actually in the bath 10 minutes and i realized i start work really soon so i'd also put some food in the air fryer so i had to abandon video i've got sausages and hash browns i was meant to make egg and everything but i do not have time a girl does not have time right now so i need to eat this really quickly and go to work i'll be back once i'm finished work i am back home i do not know why my camera is so bad um i am back home i just had a scary experience though so this is my bathroom door and I could have sworn a spider, like I just went to close it and I could have sworn a spider was running out and it really freaked me out and I literally nearly started to squeal and then I realised there was nothing there. It was just my imagination. Tonight I am going for a meal with like, I don't really, I literally have no idea what it is. All I know is that Paul Simpson's meant to be doing like a bit of a speech. Um, yeah. And it's meant to be like casual dress, but I don't really know what to wear for casual dress. Like for me, casual is jeans, but yeah, I'm probably going to wear jeans, to be honest. But yeah, I thought I'd bring you guys along with me because I don't really know what it is. But all I know is that it's kind of Carlisle related. So and I thought it'd be interesting for you guys to come with me. So I am ready. I mean, it's like casual dress. So I've gone with like a football top, but like it's not like a football top in terms of a Carolina United shirt, do you know what I'm trying to say there? 
And I'm going to put a long coat on. Long coats just make your outfit so much more dressy than they actually are. And it's brilliant. And I just love them. So we are getting a taxi. And it's at the Holston. But I when I say like I don't know what this event is about. I literally have no idea. Um, Hopefully I can update you all at the end of the night. So we are now in. And yeah. I really still don't know what's going on to be honest. With your, your dad Kenny. First yeah. thing for us. So yeah, in that night, I never actually like fully explained what it was. To be honest, I'm still not a hundred percent sure. Basically, Paul Simpson was getting asked questions, and then he was got a few questions from the audience. And he's actually quite a funny guy. Don't get me wrong; he's very, very media trained. It was meant to be like an unfiltered night, I think. But he's very media trained. They did not miss a trick there. But I still really enjoyed it. It was really good. Somebody, however, did tell me that it was a two-course meal. So I was like, I'm quite a picky eater. So I was like, okay, like, at least if I don't like the main course, there's going to be pudding. Or if I don't like the starter, there'll be hopefully, like, a main course. So we ate our steak pie, which was very nice. Don't get me wrong. Had pickled onions in, which is a bit rogue. But I'll let it lie. Then, che like, cheese plate. Not for me. Good morning. This is a lounge set, by the way. It does look like pyjamas to the whole world. Right now, I'm probably driving in pyjamas. That's what it looks like. Oh, my God. That man is literally going to be in my video. I have my camera. I have my football boots, which can only mean one thing. Today, we are filming another 50v1. But what I might do is, I'm trying to think of something to like spice it up a bit. I've got a different person on with me today. So I think it will be a lot more interesting for you guys because it's actually a goalkeeper. So I feel like you guys will be interested in it a lot more. Um, hopefully, I mean, I'm literally not going to be able to score one goal. I can tell you that for free. people behind I haven't updated you guys in a while but currently sat in McDonald's let me just put my window currently sat in McDonald's drive through of course they start moving because why wouldn't they good morning um I am off work today and I don't know what to do with myself I have like videos I am gonna knock the lights off and make this really off like bad light I'm so sorry but I do like want to film something but I haven't planned anything to film so I don't really know what to film and I can't think of anything off the top of my head to be 100% real with you I can't think of anything exciting to film I kind of thought about the 10,000 calorie challenge but like I've already started eating for the day so I'd be at a disadvantage because I said if my other video got 100 likes and it's at like 50 so I need to start like prepping Right, I still look like this. It's been hours. I've sat, I've watched YouTube video after YouTube video. And do you know what? Sometimes, on your day off, that's just kind of where it lies. I cleaned my room the other month, like last week. So my room is clean. I mean, it doesn't look it because of that big bag and some stuff I need to take downstairs. But my room, for the most part, is clean. Um, And I just, like, I need to finally get on the train to being productive today. Um, Yeah, but... I you know, like, in the morning when you just think about all the things that you've got to do, so, like, you aren't really relaxing? Well, that's kind of been this morning. I have run the bath, haven't put bubbles in or anything because I need to wash my hair. I'm going to get my hair stuff out, ready for when I get out of the bath. I'm going to get some pyjamas, like, I'm going to get it all sorted. And then when my mum gets home, I'm going to ask a big question and I want the conservatory to be my YouTube office. I have decided. I don't know, like, what's going on with this vlog at this point. But I just like washed and dried and straightened my hair but i don't know why i bothered to straighten it because i just really don't like wearing my hair down at the minute to be 100 percent honest um it's really cozy and it's kind of vibes it's given what i want right now in my room but i have to go and walk my dog so i'm gonna do it then it's out the way it is two o'clock i was meant to walk him at dinner time but did i forget yes because normally he's really a little bit annoying and like kind of comes up to you and reminds you but I don't know where he is. 
I can literally almost guarantee the fact that he'll be sat at the front door waiting for me to take him. I'm that confident that I'm even going to bring you guys with me. I'll bring my glass because that's another thing that I'm really bad for. Not taking my own dishes downstairs. Right. What's the best my dog's at the door? I'm going to actually flip it around so you can see. If he's at the door, then I have to take him on a long walk. Oh, thank goodness. So we do have a minor inconvenience. Now, when I say minor, I don't mean minor at all. I would probably say major. I don't know where I put my car keys. And I've also just realised that my mum is going to finish work soon, probably. Which is really worrying because she's going to get back and see that I've not walked the dog. So I'll be in the bad books. Not even that, I cannot find my car keys. People, some people just don't deserve nice things. I am people. Oh, silly me. I put them where I always put them. I just obviously never open my eyes when I look. Do you know what? I take it back. I deserve nice things. Upon reflection, my outfit was probably not best suited, especially the Crocs, for the weather. But I am convinced I have the most passive income in the entire world. Not even like stocks and shares. I don't have none of that crypto, Bitcoin, whatever you're talking about. Not that. Just simply finding other people's like rubbish change on the floor. Do you know how excited this makes me? Not even like five pence gets me a bit excited. 20 pence. That is like literally a Freddo a couple of years ago. Winning. So yeah, I'm genuinely convinced I'm the luckiest person in the world because how else am I finding this money? Everywhere I go, I just find money on the floor. And I'm talking 20p's. Like, at first it was pennies. Slowly built it to up to fives. Sometimes it's still pennies, but I've seen a lot of 20s recently. I actually seen a 5p on the floor the other day at the car log game and I left it because I thought, hopefully someone other fan can pick that up and we'll win today. And I should have just picked it up and then maybe then we would have won. I actually cannot express to you guys how much my dog plays me. So every single time I go through to the garage for anything like for reference, my garage is like, our fridge and freezer is in the garage. This is just from the walk, don't be alarmed. Um, So my fridge and freezer is in the garage. So like whenever you're going to get anything to eat, if you're going to get milk for a cup of tea, you name it, it's probably in the garage, okay? So anytime you go through to get anything, he just scams me, follows me through and forces me to give him a treat so he gets back in. He was just jumping up, like he can obviously smell something tasty in the air. <gasps> Do you know what I think he's barking for? The Cumberland sausage what I ate earlier and I hope it wasn't for him. But I know what my dad's like. But I came home and I really fancied like a full English breakfast and there was some sausage sat in the pan. And let me actually, it probably was for the dog. Let me just show you the pan. My mum's going to be mortified, but like it's a greasy fatty pan. My dad obviously had sausage for tea last night, saved a bit for the dog. And I was that like in desperate need. I just ate that sausage. And I'm a dog to feed me, not me. Look at him. Look at him looking at the pan. So what else I was going to say is, so yeah, he scams me and he just, I'll just give him a treat and he's still barking at me. Yeah, he's a rude dog. Anyway, whenever we go shopping, like if I go shopping with my mum if we're on the same day off, whatever, we'll go shopping and we'll get some bits. And whenever I come to eat them, my mum's vegetarian and the bits I'm normally talking about like chicken, so she doesn't eat them. And my dad claims he hasn't ate them, but realist, like realistically, he's the only person in the house but I did just find these, which I remember getting last time because they look like, obviously, McDonald's chicken nuggets. So I'm going to try them. Um, everything just has oven times on, but this one actually says air fryer. I mean, it's 2024. I'm putting everything in the air fryer. The thing that is steaming is the hot water that I've just run to put my dishes in when I'm done. So I had six nuggets and I was like, I'll just eat six for now. And if I'm still a bit peckish, I'll come back and eat them. And then I thought, this is the kind of thing that I do. So I'll eat, um, I know this isn't particularly healthy food, but it's better for me than like packets of after the crisps, like packets of crisps after crisps. So I thought I'll just eat six and then I'll come back and I'll get the other six. Cause it says 12, yeah. Right, so I've had six and then I've got four more on my plate there. So that's 10. 11, 12, 13, 14. And I will never ever forget when in primary school we used to have like a baking day 
and I read on the packet of ham the teacher asked how many slices are in the packet of ham and I said 10 and everyone laughed at me and said no it says approximately 10 so it's not actually going to be 10 and it was 10. So I had a bit of an impulsive thought and I realised that I haven't made brownies in so long so now I'm making brownies. I really don't know where that came from because I'm trying to keep it to the like the lowest of the low so I don't have to clean up loads of things but I really don't know where that came from that I wanted to make brownies because I don't know, but to be fair, I do have loads of baking stuff, so it does need used up. Guys, look what I have for my tea. We just went to Sainsbury's. I got this, and I actually got the dip to go with it, and I got some orange juice as well. Guys, I need to show you my pizza. It looks stunning. So I also have some... This is really... I'm sorry. I literally just sat on my bed. I'm so excited to eat my pizza. Freshly squeezed orange juice. I've put some ice in a cup. It does look like the thing from the Tombly Boos, like the milk cups that they get in the sky. You probably have no idea what I was just on about, by the way. Just Google in the night garden. Um, yeah, it is a barbecue piss, but I'm still very excited for it. Morning, guys. I just had breakfast and it actually was not very tasty. I can't even lie to you. But my mum was forcing me to come on a crazy side quest with her, so I thought I'd start my vlog now and show you. So we've decided we wanted a subway for dinner and Kingstown is actually closer but there's another subway somewhere and it has a charity shop near it and I've just spent a while sorting out all of my stuff so we're going to go to that one so I can take all my various bits. Guys, I'm about to change my entire life here. I am making caramel shortbread. Let me show you what I bought from the shop yesterday. This, such a cute bag. Custard cream bag. It's going to be... My new lunchbox, maybe. I know it's a bit big, but it's very cute. It looks really small here. It's quite big, actually. Um, I bought myself some goodies. This is like £10 worth of baking stuff. So this sugar, I've actually never heard of before. But I want to make caramel shortbread, which I've never made. And I am so excited to make it. Condensed milk. Literally don't know what that is. I know it's condensed milk, but I literally don't know much more than that. Caster sugar. I've never used caster sugar for baking. I thought caster sugar was the sugar that you put in tea. So I always just used the wrong sugar. That's why my baking's never good. Now I know because that's granulated sugar. Probably are the same thing. I'm trying to make myself feel better. And some dairy milk. I cannot express to you how excited I am to make this because I have been like wanting to buy caramel shortbread for a couple of weeks, but I just haven't came across it. Like, if I've been in the supermarket or whatever, I've not seen it or... But now, here we go. Here we go. This could be my whole new life. I'm going to live the rest of my life just baking caramel shortbread and selling it. Because that is the passion. That is the nicest... You know what? Death Row meal. I think it'd be caramel shortbread. Just a big square. It's delicious. I have now stood and passionately spoke about this for 1 minute 30 seconds. I actually like, I just cannot contain my excitement for this. I am so excited. I've just like looked at the recipe and I've never ever made anything like this before. I tried to make it once with my sister, but it didn't go well and I was very young. So I've got my notepad at the ready. I'm actually like, if this works, I'm genuinely going to make a business just selling it for the rest of my life. And that's the only income I'm going to have. I've decided to get a little bit carried away looking back, Donna. I can only apologise. I thought I set a time lapse off just from when I was putting the chocolate on top and I actually didn't and I feel really guilty. Guys, so me and mum have decided we're taking on the world today. She's genuinely like behind the camera telling me to stop. I'm going to show you because I'm going to show you, okay? This is, uh, let me actually just, so we decided we're going to start with the jackets. This is the jacket that we have in our house. For reference, let me just... It is virtually nearly filling the whole room. And there is just jacket after jacket. And to be honest, I did think majority were mine. But I don't really know whose is who. So we have tackled more and more. We've done the jackets as well. I'm just about to cut the shortbread and give it the first taste. I have been desperate to taste it, but I've had to wait for it to dry. I've got a Starbucks cup. I'm going to heat the knife up in the water and then it's easier to chop. That's my thinking. Guys, so we came and dropped off some stuff before for the charity shop. Look, this is the dress that I gave earlier today. 
this is the shortbread and it was 10 out of 10 also please let me know if you'd actually buy some because i am considering open and then a small business it's kind of a dream of mine so please comment saying you would 